Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. So in my previous video, I tested the 4K 120 Hertz mode on the PlayStation 5. And this TV, this is the Hisense UAG 4K HDR with HDMI 2.1 features. So uh, I noticed that some of you guys were telling me that there's a new update that it lets you run 120 Hertz plus HDR because previously you couldn't use HDR. So I decided to run it again, test it, download the new update on Warzone here with the PlayStation 5 and these are the results. Let's do this. All right guys, so before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I noticed that there's a lot of people who watch my videos, but they're not actually subscribed to the channel. So I would truly appreciate if you do, and also leave a like if you enjoy this kind of content. There's a like button as well. All right guys, so before anything, let's go into the settings here on the PlayStation, uh, because there's a way that you have to do this. I know I, I, I mentioned this and I show you this on my previous video, but there's a lot of people who haven't seen that previous video. So hopefully uh, this is going to be helpful to you. So let's go into the screen and video settings. And then over here, there is a part that says enable 4K 120 Hertz output. We make sure this and I have this one in automatic. All right. That's how I have it here. And then also I go to the save data and game app settings. Go down here to game presets and I make sure you use performance mode so that way when there is a 120 hertz option it's going to go automatically to that performance mode all right let's go into the game so how do i know i have 120 hertz performance mode well on this tv this is the hisense uag i press the menu button and then i just press back and it'll give you this this information window right here playstation 5 30 or 40 21 60 120 hertz with hdr 10 yes i have finally use hdr oh yes and one more thing i'm sorry sorry let's go back real quick to the playstation and also right here on the uh, save and screen video make sure that hdr is turned on okay i oh i only uh have it on where it says on when supported not always on because i noticed that some games that don't support hdr will is th this is going to try to push HDR so only when supported is the option that I use that is totally optional if you want to use that but that's how it is all right guys so let's get into some uh, gameplay and I'm gonna share with you my experience let's do this all right so first of all before we start the game I noticed that the the textures are already preloaded here and I can see all the fauna the road the little details are already available on my previous video it was taking forever to load those so i'm glad that is already available here on the playstation 5. all right guys so first thing i noticed that it's just it looks a lot better than before although some of these textures take a little while to load you guys notice right here but uh oh shit, what the hell overall this looks a lot nicer. Oh, sh there you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with Jolster. So, uh, yeah. Also, gameplay. My goodness. It feels very, very good. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. And the gameplay, it does feel very, very smooth. You're going down, my friend. We're gonna do some sniping here. Um, one thing I noticed before is that since textures take forever to load, sometimes when I was trying to do some sniping, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get people. I couldn't see people properly or at least on time. And he is dead, my friend. He is dead. Just gonna put some. Oh no! Oh my God! Wish me luck, guys. Oh, it exploded my mind. Oh, it almost killed me. <laughs> oh, shit. You're going down. Oh, there's another one coming. Wow. You survived. 
Not anymore. Alright guys, so sniping is a very important part of my gameplay. I mean, I have to be able to see from far. And one of the things I notice is that when I'm playing here, uh, some of the textures or the details are loading kind of slow. That is the only negative I see. It's not that bad, but you can clearly see that it takes a, some time for it to load out. Oh, I see a victim. He is way too far. I don't even think I'm gonna hit him. Yeah, he is way too far. But I gotta say that overall the game looks very, very colorful, very nice. I like HDR. Honestly, I feel like HDR does make a difference. And with a good H with a good HDR performance to be like this one. Oh, what the hell? I was not expecting this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well anyways, I'm glad I was I was just making a video here and people are just trying to kill me all the time, but um anyways guys, this is how it looks with HDR on the PlayStation 5 and this nice gaming TV. This is the Hisense UAG. I have done several videos about this TV. So if you guys are interested Make sure you check out those previous videos and I'm going to share with you my settings right now. For that I went all the way to the east part of the map. It's supposed to be like almost no one here but somebody's already hunting me so hopefully they don't get me. Well I'm sharing you my settings, let's go real quick to the picture, right? Oh, before we do that, make sure that you have your HDMI format enhanced. Right here is only two options, standard or enhanced, so make sure you have it enhanced if you have this TV. In some other TVs it's different, but you have to enhance the HDMI port that you're using. Alright, let's go to picture real quick and backlight. Um, this is, I'm using local dimming on high if you want to get the brightest uh, panel and you want to get the better contrast and black levels. Make sure you use your local dimming. This TV is a 65 inch and it has 360 dimming zones. So it works pretty good. Backlight level, I have it all the way to 100%. That way I can get the best HDR performance possible. Make sure you turn off this automatic light sensor. Otherwise, your TV is going to be, depending on the ambient light, it's going to be either dimmer or brighter. So make sure you turn this off if you want to control that, right? Picture mode. I am using HDR game because I'm playing a game and I want to use HDR. There's also different kinds of picture modes here, but HDR game is the best one when you're gaming. Alright, contrast, I have it at 80%, brightness is at 50%, cool. color, this is where I did some changes I think on the colors. It's a 75% because I want colors to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more saturated than normal. I mean, yeah, I like colors like that. I have it in the middle, sharpness, I remove sharpness, I don't want any more added uh, particles from the TV. The game already looks pretty sharp, so you don't need that anymore. Apply this, yes, oh my god, I am getting hunted. Hold on, let me, let me see. I'm pretty sure these guys are coming from this area over here. Stay away from me, I'm making a video. Either way, oh, you're dead. Team wipe eliminated, and then I know there's someone over there too. So this place seems more peaceful than previously played. So let's continue with the settings real quick. This is going to work with the PlayStation 5 and also with the Xbox. So either way, you are going to either console you have this settings can work for you, but only works with this TV. All right. So color temperature, I use this in mid-low. This is sort of like warm one on the um, on this other TV, Samsung TVs. So I like it like this. Motion clearness, this is BFI. I turned this off, I don't like this at all. Active contrast, I have this one in medium. I like it like this. If you turn it off, the TV does look a little bit dimmer. If you put it on high, it looks, you know, it looks a little brighter. But I feel like, uh, yeah, black levels and shadow details look better on medium. That's just my my own preference. Color space, I have this one in automatic, right? 
make sure you use this one in automatic when you're using HDR content. And FreeSync, I have this one turned off. PlayStation doesn't have FreeSync available. Alright guys, so those are my gaming settings. I'm using HDR10 and the 120Hz performance mode. Look how nice it looks. I mean, this is the old stadium or the new stadium array over here. We got TV station over here. I mean, everything looks so nice and colorful. That's what I'm liking about this. And it feels smooth. It feels very good. I'm liking this gameplay.